So today I'm going to talk about Maker Suite. And Maker Suite is a tool that YouTube creators can use to do competitive analysis and research and determine what kind of topics to do videos about and what those videos should contain from the standpoint of content. So let's go ahead and take a little closer look at Maker Suite. Specifically, from a product standpoint, there's a video content explorer. It will generate video ideas. It gives you some video performance indicators, quality indicators, title generators, and it has a whole section on AI scripting. So you can quickly spin up YouTube scripts for your particular topic. So before I go any further, I think it's worthwhile to take a look at the pricing structure for Maker Suite. Now, a cool thing about Maker Suite, it's offered at AppSumo. So it is offered on a lifetime deal. And it starts for as little as $29 for license tier one. I'm not going to read through everything that's here. You can check that out yourself. I've got a link in the description for this video to Maker Suite. I am an AppSumo affiliate. So if you do buy Maker Suite, I will receive a small commission. But let's go ahead and get to the license tiers and the pricing. So I think license tier one is perfect for somebody who has a single channel. And the reason I say that is it allows you to create up to 15 scripts a month. It allows you to do 15 content expirations a month. It also will generate 30 different descriptions per month for videos that you're producing. And typically a small channel, you're doing a couple of videos, maybe three videos a week. That's pretty sporty for a single, single person to do on their own. So 15 scripts per month is plenty along with the other features. Now, when you go to license tier two and license tier three, all that it's really doing is increasing the numbers of scripts, expirations, and descriptions. There are no additional features. You're still getting the full feature set of Maker Suite. Now that we've got that out of the way, let's jump right into the tool itself. So when you get to the dashboard, you're gonna see four things that you can do. You can research a topic, analyze a video, you can get your own script. This will be an AI written script based on your input, or you can just create a script from scratch using their tool. So below these four items, you'll see projects, and a project is related to a script. You'll see explorations, and then there's generated ideas as well. So since the first item in the menu is research a topic, to do that, you just click start exploration, and then you would put in the topic here that you want to research, click enter, and then it'll go into a queue and then re get returned when it's ready and you can look at it. So here's one that I queued up ahead of time. We'll go view that. Now, I find this to be interesting, but probably not the most useful part of the tool for me. It does give you some ideas. So our phrase was container gardening for beginners. That's what we wanted Maker Suite to check into. It'll show us the top five video ideas related to container gardening for beginners. It gives us a research overview. And basically it just gives you some general information about how many videos have been created that are affiliated with container gardening for beginners, how many relevant topics by video, how many channels are doing videos about this topic, and how many views were generated by this topic, 270 million. It gives you this bubble chart. It's an interesting chart. It's fun to look at. I'm not sure if it necessarily really has helped me to determine whether I wanna use a topic or not, except that I can go in and just do some exploring to see what topics have the most relevance that deal with container gardening for beginners. So. When you're looking at the y-axis, that's relevance. The x-axis is quality score. So if you're in this top left quadrant, they're relevant videos, but may be underperforming. So for example, this one, Growing Tomatoes and Peppers, shows you a relevance score, the quality score, how many views across that particular topic, the average number of comments, et cetera. If you get into this top, right-hand quadrant, which is high-performing videos with high relevance. You can see home vegetable gardening is a topic that performs quite well. So that's what the bubble chart does for you. You can also look at additional topics here. You can go through and you can say, okay, growing blueberries in containers. What can I learn about that? 
you click the plus, it gives you volume. So there's 10 videos on this topic with 3 million views across the topic. So with only 10 videos, for example, but 3 million views, that might be a topic you want to explore. From an engagement perspective, growing blueberries in containers, it got 10,000 average likes per video, 391 average comments per video. Very relevant. The quality score is not so high, shows you the tags. So if you pick one of these, it gives you some insights into this particular video, which was the top performing video. What's really cool is it gives you sort of this outline and a summary of the video. And you can look at the second, you can look at the, you can look at the second most popular video, look at its outline and summary, and this will help you determine what you might want to put in if you were going to go ahead and do a video on growing blueberries in, in containers. So that's how you would use this section of the tool. If we go ahead, go back to the home, we go home. Here we are back on the main page again. Now, the one piece that I really love using is analyzing a video. If you click on Get Insights, you can put in the URL of a video and it will analyze it. Let's say we're interested in analyzing a specific video. In this case, how about mountain biking for beginners? Well, Global Mountain Biking Network, they put together this video, Getting Started in Mountain Biking. If we click on that, I'll just pause that, grab the URL for it, go back to Maker Suite, we'll drop it in, and we can get insights on this video. If you have a mountain biking channel and you want to do a video about getting started in mountain biking or mountain biking for beginners, this is really useful information. You get to see the description and all of the links that are from the video. Now, this is something that you can just see in YouTube yourself. That's not such a big deal, but it does tell you about how many views that it received, how many subscribers the channel has, 11,000 likes, 544 comments, how old the video is and its length. And it also shows you some other related videos to this topic, which you can also go in and analyze as well. Now, what I really like are the advanced insights. When you're looking at the advanced insights, there are a few things that you're going to see. You'll see the complete transcript of this video. You can see exactly what's being said and exactly when it's being said. Another thing that you're going to see, of course, is the performance of this video. In this case, the performance score shows how well a video has performed after adjusting it for the number of subscribers, time the video has been online, and reach of the channel. It gets a performance score of 42. Then there's the sentiment analysis, which just measures how positive or negative the contents of the video are. It's a fairly neutral video. It's an informational video. I would expect it to be somewhat neutral in sentiment. Now, the thing that I really like to use uh, I like to use this watch intensity graph because anytime you see a peak, that's where people are really focusing on the video. If you were going to do a video on mountain biking for beginners, I'd want to understand what's attracting the attention of viewers at these peaks and valleys, right? So right here at 101, this doesn't tell me much. This is just the introduction. People are, you know, just watching the video. The very first point of interest is here at 417 in the video. You can go over here and go to 417. What were they talking about at 417? They're talking about trails, green trails, blue trails. And this, this is something that's important to beginning mountain bikers. You need to understand trail ratings. And this is when they start to tell you about trail ratings. So you know as a new mountain biker, whether it's something you want to try and ride. So another peak in the video was at... 533. You can go in and take a look at 533 and see what was being talked about. It's talking about bike parks and just having fun. So that's important to stress for new mountain bikers is just how much fun it is. At around six minutes, another point of interest. Here's where they start to talk about black trails and what that means. And a black trail is just an expert trail. And then at 6.51, start talking about Strava and trail forks. And trail forks is a tool that's really important if you're a new mountain biker. It tells you where you're at on a specific trail. You don't want to get lost. You want to be able to find your way back to the car. 
Everybody should be using trail forks if they're a new mountain biker and unfamiliar with the area they're riding in. And then there's a lot of interest right here at 917. And it's where they're talking about what kind of bike to choose. It's really talking about the different kinds of bikes that a beginning mountain biker could choose. Another piece that's important is the summary. This is good to know. This helps you determine what you should put in your video if you're doing one on mountain biking for beginners. And then I really like the outline tool. So I don't need to read through the transcript. I can just see they talked about gear for riding, where to ride, the importance of watching videos for inspiration, owning multiple bikes, and a conclusion. But to compete with this video, you'd want to definitely talk about all of these things and then maybe add more based on your own experience. So that's why I really like this tool here. Let's say this is your video. You've created it. You can put it in this analysis tool. Then you can go over and take this outline from it and drop it in your video description if this is your video. So to wrap up this section of Maker Suite, just remember there's the basic information. There's the advanced insights. I think advanced insights is where you're going to really get the most critical pieces that you need to know to be competitive if you're trying to create a video in this space. All of this will help you determine what you want to talk about in your video about this topic. Now that we've analyzed a video, let's go into where you can create your own script using the AI tool. So you click Create Project, and in this case, let's put in a video title. I'm going to call it Mountain Biking Tips for Beginners. Going to pick a tone of voice. In this case, we're just going to do informational project goal. They give you lead generation, brand building, growing an audience, or education. In this case, it's education and training others. And we'd like this to just be a shorter video. I'm going to go with a seven minute script, which is about a thousand words. For content type, this is a video creator. In this case, if it was my channel, it would be at Mike Shuey. My target audience is beginning mountain bikers. Then you generate an outline or you can write the outline yourself. We'll just go with generate outline. What happens is the outline generation starts and then when it's ready, it will let you know. And then you can go in and write the rest of the script. Here you can see it queued up. It's generating. In the interest of saving time in this video, I created a script already back on the topic container gardening for beginners that we looked at earlier. Here's the script that it created. First, here's the brief. Container gardening for beginners, it's informational, languages, US, target audience is people who've never tried container gardening and would like to learn more. It's a video, it's educating and training others, 1400 words, about 10 minutes long. Then it shows you the outline and here's the outline. And the nice thing about this is some people don't like to read from scripts. Maybe you're not using a teleprompter. If you're not doing that, then working from an outline is a great way to go. And here it gives you an outline choosing containers, container types, container size, soil for containers, etc. Then it gives you this conclusion gives you closing remarks. I think that's pretty useful. Now you can see the complete script by just clicking here on script. A script like this would be good for somebody that is using a teleprompter and actually reading the script as they're doing their video. I typically don't read scripts word for word, uh, but this is the script that gets produced as conclusion as closing remarks. What I would probably work from more is just talking points Although I think the script is nice to just give me some more information to fill in these gaps as I'm planning for the video. Here in Publishing Ideas, you'll see a generated description. This is the description that you could use in your YouTube video description area. And then these are potential tags that you could use for the video as well. We'll go back to home. If you want to, you can start a project just completely from scratch. This can be used for writing a script from scratch beginning mountain biking, your script. Once it's done, you'd save the project and then you'd be able to retrieve it later. You could also print out your script if you want to. I think Makersuite really does offer some excellent tools for a YouTube creator if they are trying to just understand more about their competition and what they need to do to fill in those gaps and make their video more useful than somebody else that's done a video on the same topic. 
So again, for me, the analyzing the video section is the, the best part of this tool for me. So while I could go into YouTube and look at videos that were related to the topic that I wanted to do a video about and maybe make a spreadsheet, make a bunch of notes, MakerSuite just streamlines the process. It's doing all that for me. I simply put in a video URL and then I'm able to get those insights on that video and understand what it is I need to come up with uh, to provide more content, more useful content that's gonna be more interesting to my viewers. Now, another thing that you can use MakerSuite for is if you are thinking about researching videos and determining do you want to start a new channel. Now, MakerSuite doesn't really talk much about this, but I would definitely use this tool to research my competition if I was thinking about spinning up a new channel and then coming up with lists of video ideas to really kickstart a new channel. I wish I would have had a tool like this when I started my own channel. You're looking at $29 for tier one, 15 scripts per month, 15 exploration per month, 30 descriptions per month, unlimited AI generated words. I think for what it does, it's a bargain because it just does a lot of that research in the back end and it just makes it easier for you to determine what it is you're up against in your particular channel and all the videos that you need to create and what they should contain and what they should say. So until next time, take care.